everyone. Today we're standing in the National Badminton Center of Mauritius with President Mr. Sharma Nanda. Thank you so much for your time. And um, this is such an important um, sport that is played in internationally. And being the president of Mauritius, um, how is badminton in Mauritius? Hi, Adira. Thank you for your such precious time to be here for an interview. Normally, badminton here in Mauritius, I would say, is among the number one sports in Mauritius. Why I say it? Because you know everyone play badminton. Um, I also do know that um, this is a very hectic time for you, uh -huh. and um, as the players are coming in and they're practicing, intense, having intense practicing. Tell me, why do we have all this excitement right now? So, as I told you, we have we are associated with BWF. And again, we are associated with BCA. BCA means Badminton Confederation of Africa. Okay. And now, actually, we have we are preparing to host an All Africa Under 19 Championship in Mauritius. In Mauritius. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> and, and and that would be the very first time that this yeah, is happening in Mauritius. This is what is very good. Is that, yes. Uh, it's very. We are very happy to host such. First time is such tournament in Mauritius. Wow. It's an under 19 tournament in yes. all Africa. Wow. That's why you could see that in my behind we are training. We are having, well, firstly I would say we are hosting it. Yes. As the organizer, we need to do everything. Everything. To yeah. organize. Uh, the preparation is, is very hectic. I mean, we need to prepare at least three months ago. Okay, yes. Yeah, okay. We are having around 12 countries who are participating, 12 oh. African countries. Yes, yeah. and, and that is also focusing, like you're saying, on preparing the Mauritius team um, for the um, yes, special yes. championship. Obviously. Yes. We are among one of African countries who yes. are is participating in this tournament. Yes. And on this, uh, for this tournament, we are having a very tight, tough training session with yeah. our guys. Um, I believe being the president and, and having to have this inspiration and inspiring and keeping this, the, um, the sportsmen um, motivated, um, you also played with badminton oh, before yeah, then. Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> you should be a player to know you how to play badminton and how to prepare badminton also. Yes. Badminton too. Uh, Mr. Sharma, I'd like to thank you again for your time. I really want to take this time also to really wish you all the best oh, thank you. Um, seeing this amazing and very dedicated team that you have and also you being very excited yes. um, if we're going to be supporting you and um, hopefully we'll be able to inspire others in Mauritius to take up this profession. We're back on the courts with the one and only Kemtish Nanda known as Adi. The reason why we're here today is to celebrate and to acknowledge Adi's achievements and um, for being this motivated and dedicated and I don't think anybody that is not a sportsman, anybody that is not successful does not know how hard it is to see through a goal and um, what you what you challenged with when you go through this goal. Um, I welcome you. <laughs> Please tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, I'm Kamtish Nanda. I'm 17 years old. I've been playing badminton since 10 years old. Uh, I've started training at Rampart. Uh, then I was national champion of under 13 at the age of 11. For the first time. From the age of 11? Yes. <laughs> That's so. a long time. Wow, okay. And tell me, what keeps you motivated? Uh, I think that I have a goal in my life, so this every day makes me want to improve to, to reach this goal. Yes, as a sportsman and not only a professional badminton player, there are certain daily routines that you have to have to be in this position and, and to see through mm. in preparation. How do you do this and what is your natural daily routine like? So I usually woke up at uh, 4.45 or 5 in the morning. 
Then I eat some cereal before mm -hmm. training. Yeah. So uh, our training starts at six. So then we come, we do some stretching. Then usually in the morning we do some physical training. Yeah. So like morning there's no cold training, no racket training. Yes. Uh, we finish around seven, seven fifteen. Mm -hmm. Then we we go to eat. Mm -hmm. Go to eat uh, in a nearby restaurant right here. Then we came back around 7:45, 8 to start now core training. So okay. this is our second session. Yes. Then during this, it's some no, sometimes some light skill, some yes. little movement, uh -huh. not very hard, but mostly quality sh training. Our, uh, we finish around 10, 10, 15. Uh, I do my stretching, yeah. so I'm cooling down, then we return home. Wow. Uh, we, I reach home around 11, so then I'll shower, uh, I'll eat something because yes. it's already well, two it's sessions. A, yes. finish, finish. How, do you, how do you do that? I mean, you, you just finished your HSC and um, being, having to have so much time for practicing and um, how do you how, how do you balance this with school? Uh, when there's school, I don't usually I stay the seven session till like nine. Mm -hmm. Then I shower here itself. Yes. Then I go to school. Then I have some teachers that help me to recover the classes I have lost. Yes. So mostly the teachers help me a lot. The so teachers that, help you a lot. Yeah, so that I can. Rec uh, do my academic. Yes, of research. course. Then school finish around 2.30. Uh -huh. Then I come back here for training. So. Wow. Yeah. When do you study? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, you're I don't student, even know myself. You're a good student, don't worry, I was just, just choosing. Okay, so um, with, with all that routine and with all that um, kind of a restriction of what your diet is like and what your daily routine is like. What do you do for fun? <laughs> for fun, I like to sleep. You like to sleep, I okay, like that sleep does. <laughs> okay. Uh, recovery is big, very important. Recovery is very important. If I, I come to the court, I'm feeling pain everywhere, so yes. I cannot perform. Yeah. So I sleep almost during the day around uh, 30 minutes or 45, 45 minutes, minutes yes. to recover. And then what do you um, and and what do you eat when you're not on the strict diet? <laughs> uh, usually, uh, in the morning I eat like normal yes. bread and some tea. D uh, during the no, lunch. eat for fun. Like oh, for fun. Yeah. <laughs> for fun. Uh, <laughs> For fun, All the takeaways you can have. Yeah, I can eat everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. So. Okay. Um, yeah, that is that is also um, at a certain time for you. Okay. So currently, you're preparing um, for a very big event that's happening in Mauritius, and that is the um, the uh, ch championship for all, Africa. Uh, all Africa, all Africa junior, champions. junior champions. Yes. Okay. Um, who who is your um, inspiration? Who inspires you? Actually, there's two people. For, yes. It's from Mauritius. Yes. Both from uh, Julian Paul and Alexandre Bongo. Uh -huh. They both have done in the past. They both have won uh, junior championship and senior championship. So I want to be the next one. You want to be the next yeah. one. Like you have a step. very big goal. But you know, like I say and like they say, if you can dream it, you can do it. But nothing, nothing is impossible. Right, mm. Kemtesh, how do you cope mentally with all this exhaustion and so much happening in your life? Uh, I usually do some meditation at my yes. house, yes. Uh, sometime before coming to training. Mm -hmm. uh, sit outside, meditate, yes. do some respiration, yes. and listening to music. Wow, so, that is important. Yes, because, um, mm -hmm. because you sometimes you come training your you, you may be fit, but mentally not fit, so you cannot perform well. So meditation is a way for me. I don't cope. think um, people that don't do this and, and don't know how to find that balance really know that mm. you've got to know yourself, what works for you, mm. what works for you, as in to knowing that this is what you have to do to find your, your, um, your time, 
your balance zone mm. and you are dead right when you are preparing for anything it's not only physically mm. and um uh, it's also mentally yes yes um so <clears throat> we never know who we're inspiring and who you're influencing um there might be other players out there as many many um individuals in Mauritius play this as as fun mm. but um if i'd ask you to share um to share a few words or give some advice um, what would you say? Uh, I would tell them not to give up because even for me, at start it was very difficult. I, w uh, I, w I was losing to everybody, even my friends. I, I couldn't beat them, but I didn't give up. But now I, they, oh, they cannot beat me, so yes. you have to be determined, uh, train hard. If, if you lose one time, doesn't mean that it's over. You should continue uh, the hard work and to become successful. Be consistent, yeah. Would you, um, would you like to tell me what your goal is? For me, is to go to the Olympics. Go to the Olympics. Yes. Um, I, I, I don't see you far from that. Yeah. Um, you are, and you're preparing yourself in a way that you will just be unstoppable and that's what they say being capable mm -hmm. knowing um i can only say that when you set a goal you have to work hard towards that goal and no matter what happens um and no matter who matters <laughs> who happens <laughs> Let them not stop you from the process of what is happening to you and you make that happen. So you have everything that you need and I only wish you the best. I say congratulations again for being this very strong, brave individual that is only 17 years old. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they don't have much of a social life, but um, this is what this is what Kim Tish wants, and this is his goal. And Kim Tish, uh, I'm proud of you, very proud of you, and we as Mauritius support you all the way, mm. um, and you will make that difference, and nothing is impossible. Mm.